Hey everybody. Not too long ago I had an outbreak in this tank. It was mainly inside the filter area and it was white water mold. I didn't know what it was at the time but one of my viewers uh, who actually works on swimming pools pointed out what it was and when I looked it up sure enough that's where you really find a lot of information about it. It is in the swimming pool world not so much in the aquarium world and it grows on various types of uh, ABS plastic and acrylic. So the filter you see in the back there, the black one, that's not even plugged in. That's just hanging there to keep it out of my way. This filter here on the forward edge is the one we've got up and running. So when I found that white water mold in there, which is actually a type of fungus, not mold, I stripped it out completely. I completely drained the tank. I sterilized it with bleach and hydrogen peroxide. I put a whole entire new filter on it and got it all up and running and once it was all up and running I ran more hydrogen peroxide through it all and then cycled it in and now we've got fish back in it and it's been I don't know let me see if I can lean down here without stepping on stuff it's been a couple of weeks now and you can see that white nasty looking stuff is all starting to grow back in there and you will also notice possibly in addition to this really bright LED I've got over it, you can see I've got the, um, I was going to call it the LED, the UV light is still running in there. i got that turned on now, whereas I didn't have it on before, and yet, look how much gunk i got growing in there. So, you know, when you look around at the inside of the shower stall where I've got this tank sitting, it's no wonder... Um, you know, it's not the most sanitary conditions in here, but it's a fungus that grows in low light and low oxygen conditions. So high water flow and plenty of light is supposed to do away with this. And I've got both and I've got a UV sterilizer going on in there. And yet I've still got this white water mold coming back. So every website I looked at said the stuff is tenacious and it's really, really difficult to get, you know, eradicate once you've got it. So they weren't kidding. So we'll see what happens from here. It's harmless as far as I know. So it's probably going to be a matter of just staying on top of it and keeping it clean. Uh, maybe once I get the fish out of this tank, which will be pretty much whenever I feel like it, they're ready to go. I just haven't gotten around to getting them out of there yet. But once I do that, I can get in here and start really trying to sterilize it again. Maybe I'll pull the tank out and get the whole entire uh, shower area bleached out and cleaned out this whole area. So there you go. Just wanted to let you know my quarantine tank in the shower stall's got white water mold in it again. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any of the ongoing saga that is my fish room. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.